Yo guys, VG Hunt here again with another build video, uh, this time with the Stamina Sorcerer. Just want to do a big shout out to uh, Jack Bull 98 for inspiring me to do a uh, Stam Sork, a play bit of Stam Sork. Um, I've not enjoyed Stam Sork uh, 2H and Bow for a while, but you know, I've been playing with my boy Jack Bull. He's been repping it, he's been, he's been smashing it up. Um, there's going to be a link um, and his build video for the Stam Sorcerer with gameplay. The guy is an OP Stam Sork, so make sure you head over there, whack a sub on his channel. Um, and yeah, pretty much that's where my build uh, came from, okay? It's similar to his build, uh, but it's pretty much an alternative. If you don't have the gear setup he's got or you don't you know, have access or whatever to the gear setup he's got, this is the alternate setup, okay? Also, this how this works because if he's running Night Mother's Gaze, you don't want two of you running Night Mother's Gaze because they don't stack, okay? So this is the alternate set if you're running as a duo, which me and Jack do. Okay, so let's go straight into it then. So let's go into the gear sets. So I'm Spriggan's on the front bar, okay? Spriggan's sword, Nern, and we've got double dot poisons. On the back bar, we are Master Bow with the weapon the damage enchantment. Okay, so when we do his light attack poison ejection, we proc this straight away, then we stampede straight in. Okay, this is defending. You can go and fuse for more weapon damage, but we are a medium, so defending is more ideal. Okay, blood spawn. Okay, we're going with the blood spawn because I like the ulti regen. I like the tank ability you get for it when it procs. Okay, I'm just a big fan of blood spawn. You can run troll king gear if you are struggling with healing. Okay, um, either or works to be honest. It's personal preference. It is infused. Ideally, you want imp pen. And yeah, I have triglyphs on most of my gear, and I'll explain why in a minute. Okay, our second. Again, triglyphs, all imp pen. Okay, Bone Pirate is going to be our max stamina resource management set. Shoulder piece again, blood spawn, triglyph, waist, max stam glyph, in pen. Well fitted on the small PCs, uh, preferably if you're going to do well fitted. I do do a lot of dodge rolling, so I, do, I am well fitted. Okay, but you're in medium, so if you want to go all in pen, crack on. Triglyph again, and Max Stam there. So the reason we've got Triglyph, guys, is because we are a medium. So I want to pull that health pool up a little bit more than if I didn't have these Triglyphs on, I would be sitting at about 21k health, okay? And it gets a bit touch and go around that area. Um, and it doesn't matter how good your healing is. If you've got like 20, 21k health, you'll just get into the burst, so it doesn't really matter. So I tried to push for the more high 23s, 24k um, max health, okay? And it's, it prevents you, trust me, that extra 1, 2k health makes a massive difference um, to whether you survive or not. 
Um, and also, the extra Max Magic Pool, more dark deals, okay? Um, and yeah, it just helps out with the overall resource management side of things. Okay, so we've gone Spriggans on the jewelry. So we're only running Spriggans on the front bar. Okay, so we're Spriggans jewelry, Spriggans 2H, Master Bar on the back bar. All weapon damage, okay, all max damage. We've got loads of recovery, loads of resource management on this. So there is, if you want to go and reduce cost, then go reduce cost, but personally, all weapon damage, big max damage. Go all out damage. So that's the gear. Let's go for the skills. Nice and quickly. So Hurricane, Shuffle, Vigor, Dark Deal, played as ejection. Back bar, now you can have Werewolf on the back bar if you want to. It gives you extra recovery, okay? You've got the Atro, which gives you the, the same recovery from Magicka and Health. Um, and also it's really good for line of sighting, so if you are one VX and you drop this down, boom, and you've got something to line of sight in a bit of open, you are a medium, so if the outro does take one or two hits for you, it's only a bonus, yeah? Front bar, we've got Evil Hunter, this gives us more crit, and it gives us a little bit more damage on the front bar. Reverse Slice, Rally, Stampede, Dizzying Swing, and Dawnbreaker. Okay, this is going to be a CC. This is our gap closer, this is our burst heal, this is our execute, and this is, well, the hardest hitting ability on the game if you get it, if you empower it on a stam saw, because in all my days, this this makes people disappear from the map. You don't even see health move, you just see them die. All right, okay, so that's skills and the um, gear. Let's go through the champion points. Again, champion points, personal preference, guys. So spec how you want to play, but this is how I find works for me. As I opened, directly copying my CP, because everyone plays different, and this is pretty much how I like to play my CP setup. So, go through a use of Dubious. Okay, this is to um, proc my Bone Pirate set, um, and give me really good recoveries, and a bit more max stab. Now you can use the gold food. If you're going to use the gold food, I'd swap um, Bone Pirate out for Hulking. Then I would go Hulking, give you the max stam, and then go the gold food, and then you would have a lot more health recovery. Okay, that's another way you can play. You can use tripods, but ideally, I like to use the um, health and stamina and movable pots. I find they're most useful on this. Now, if you're playing solo and you find your resource management is fine, Lingering health pots also, not these ones, they're rubbish. But lingering health pots are also really good on this as well. Um, and that is pretty much it, I think, guys. I think I've told you. I am an orc. Um, so we have a look here. I am an orc. Okay. We have gone, me and Jack have spoke about this, and we think we're going to swap to Nord. Because I think Nord is going to be better for us next patch. Give us that more tankability, allow us to stay in medium. Um, yeah, and give us that all-out flat resistances, which will be nice. And give us that extra... We'll st we won't lose any damage either. So it'll be really nice, real nice. Um, like I said, another shout-out to Jackball98, who uh, inspired me to start playing Stamsork. Absolute beast. I can say, like and subscribe my channel. Make sure you head over to his channel, whack a big like and subscribe on his uh, on his videos and on his channel. Peace out, guys.